Some meat here. Some chicken. Uh, we still have chicken. We're good. Um, some food. Okay. Apple, uh, apple juice. Sure. It's a nice little, nice little treat. Little knock on the door. Some food for us to stay styled out for the rest of the week. Fine by me. All right. Well, I'm gonna start this off with my favorite part of this place. Uh, definitely our best spot since our trip to France has started so far because if you look out there you can see a pretty spectacular view. A lot of times in Europe you end up kind of staying in these villages that are at the base of the valley but here in La Rosière we're up high we're overlooking the valley it's super nice obviously when the sun comes out it's really uh really pleasant. We got our kitchen here whopping stove this is an infrared stove, so you can actually have, can you believe it? There's like a drawer right there and a stove right there. Um, dishwasher, clutch. Dishwasher also doubles as a place to wash your clothes. That's a little travel hack for you guys if you uh, didn't know that. If you get really desperate, you can just throw your clothes in the dishwasher and let it rip. Little tiny fridge, which thanks to our hosts here in La Rosier, uh, is stocked with all kinds of food. Any food that we want is pretty amazing. This is the, this is like the, well, this is like a futon. So, you know, if you if you want to have guests, you can put them on the couch here or else uh, put your filmer on the bed there. And there's, this is the master bedroom. Doesn't have a master bath attached, but you know, I'm not complaining. I'm sleeping with my ski bag here, snuggling. And uh, we walk this way. Got a little bath there. And check out the shower. So not only is this a shower normal, which is pretty rare in Europe, a lot of times they have a, a bathtub with a spout or with a, with a nozzle that you have to hold yourself. But we actually have a real shower. And we have a little perch that just douses you with water if you want. So we're styling. I just think it's just going to be a wind whip there again. Dude, the lip might be huge from our igloo. It might like circulate. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> just a massive boot. Dude, we didn't go all the way over there. But like we got to the top of that chairlift and the, the fog rolled yeah. in. We couldn't yeah. see anything. Well, 
for our team. Score is 4-2. Uh, I have participated in zero of those four goals, but uh, I shot at the goal. Line three hasn't Line participated three. in any goals yet. We're, we're not going to say it out loud, but we're the weak, we're the weak team. We're the point of our team. Obviously, the sun came out and gave us a good chunk for the contest today, which was pretty fire flame. Pretty stoked on how everything went. It was really fun to hit the jump. I haven't hit jumps all year, so it was good for me to kind of break the rust off, get the, get the, get the, get the tricks back, and uh, looking forward to doing some more jumping all week next week at Nine Nights. So, um, yeah, thanks to La Rosier for putting on an amazing event. The hospitality was great. The riding was awesome. I just 
uh, we're so thankful to be out here. On to the next. Yeah.